The crash happened Labor Day weekend right here in the intercoastal waterway. The man who died on the jet ski was run over by the boat. Jesse Mayer facing multiple charges for allegedly killing a 56 year old man. Arrest reports say Mayer was going 73 miles per hour while drunk in a no wake zone with a nine year old girl on board. I kind of give a gesture like, hey man, you know, this is a slow area. Winston Holmes says he knew it was a matter of time before someone got hurt off the Tom Stewart Causeway. He says he's seen close calls before. And I'll never forget this. It was a massive wave. The kayak got swallowed pretty much by the dude's wave and uh, almost sunk him. Our cameras out here in May catching those speeding boats in those no wake zones. There should be way more enforcements out here and there really isn't. City leaders telling us they're still working on an action plan to slow boaters down. They say they need the county, the state, and the Coast Guard all to come together. And let's slow down and maybe we can give a little more respect towards the water and the people on the water. As for that crash, three hours after it, a report says Mayor's blood alcohol level was still over the legal limit. Mayor is no longer in the Pinellas County Jail because he already bonded out. Reporting in Madeira Beach, Nicole Grigg, ABC Action News.